If you're in Northern California, there's a good chance your morning started like this. Drop, cover, hold on, shaking expected. It turned out to be a false alarm, a first for the Shake Alert program, but people from Sacramento, the Bay Area, even Monterey and Redding were wondering why they got a Shake Alert for an earthquake in Nevada. How do these alerts go out? Well, we have to understand that Shake Alerts are not earthquake predictors. They are earthquake warnings. Earthquakes are made up of two waves, the faster primary waves, or P waves, and the slower secondary waves, or S waves. The S waves are what we feel, but the P waves are felt by instruments called seismographs. When multiple stations detect P waves, the USGS automatically runs the data through algorithms that estimate how strong the quake will be and where shaking is expected. If that estimate goes above magnitude 4.5 with at least weak shaking, the MyShake app sends notifications to phones in the affected area. If it's above magnitude 5.0 with at least light shaking expected, you'll get a wireless emergency alert even without the app. All of this happens in just a few seconds with the goal of giving you 10 to 30 seconds of warning before shaking begins. As for what happened on Thursday, we still don't know. There was no actual shaking, so it's unclear why the system triggered an alert. The USGS is investigating.